in the last couple of lectures we learned how to access dom elements and how to manipulate them we learned how to change the attribute value of an html element how to change the text content how to change the inner html and also how to style the html elements dynamically now we are going to use some of those concepts in this lecture in order to render web page content dynamically so what i want to do here is in this web page i have three sections first i have this home section then i have this emi calculator section and then i have this apply for load section so if i go to index.html here i have home page section then if i scroll down i have emi calculator page section and then if i scroll down i have apply for loan section and in the web page you will also see that we have these tabs home emi calculator and apply for loan so what i want is when the user clicks on this home tab it should only display the home page it should not display the emi calculator as well as apply for loan section when the user clicks on emi calculator that time it should only show this emi calculator section and not the home section and the apply for loan section and in the same way when the user clicks on apply for loan tab that time it should only show this apply for loan section and not emi calculator and home section so let's see how we can achieve this so what we are going to do is we are going to try different methods to achieve this and if that method does not work we will learn something from there and then we will try some other method so let's go to script.js and there first of all let me comment these two lines and let's also comment this line okay now what we want is we want to create a variable and i'm going to call this variable maybe selected tab and initially let's assign it with the value home or maybe home section the same name which we are setting for the section name so for the home section we are setting it as home page right so i'll call it as home page here okay now i'm going to write a function and let's call this function render selected section inside this function what we will do is we will write a switch statement okay and to the switch we are going to pass this selected tab and here we are going to check for some cases so if the case if it is home page in that case we want to render the home page for that we will write the logic letter then let's write cases for other sections also so here we are going to have three cases okay the second case will be the class name of the second section so emi calculator page you can name these cases anything okay it's not like you need to name it same as the class name which we are providing for that section that is not mandatory but here i want to just keep everything in sync and that's why i am providing the same name all right and for now sim let's simply write break statement for each of them so after the case value we also need to use a colon okay and let's go ahead and let's call this function now we are not going to call this function directly but just for our understanding we are going to call this function so this function it is going to take the selected tab as parameter so here let's name the parameter also as selected tab and when we are calling this rendered selected section function we need to pass a value for the selected tab so we are going to pass the value which is stored in this selected tab variable so here the variable name and the parameter name is same so don't get confused with that so this selected tab is the parameter and it is not this selected tab variable but to this selected tab parameter we are assigning the value stored in this selected tab variable by passing that selected tab when we are calling this function all right so when this function will be called first of all what we will do is we will remove all the html from this page and then we will only display that html which is required so for example if the home tab is clicked we will only show the home page if the emi calculator tab is clicked we will only show the section of emi calculator and so on so all these sections it is present inside 
this div and this div has a class of main content area so what we are going to do is we are going to access this div so here let me create a variable outside let's call this main content area okay and to this we are going to assign the main div so here we'll say document dot get or maybe query selector and to this query selector we are going to pass the class name which we have set on that div and the class name is main content area so let's pass that class name and since it is a class name we need to use dot before it okay and it is going to return us this div now what we will do is when this function is getting called we will clear all the html from that div for that we can simply say main content area so this main content area is storing that div dot in a html and we are going to set it to empty string if i save the changes you will see that from the main content area everything is removed and actually i don't want to remove everything from the main content area instead in the main content area we have the menu and we want to keep this menu so what we will do is after this i will add a div and after our third section so here we have our third section after that i will close that div and let me give a class for this div so here let's specify a class and let's say the class is main section area you can provide any class here and we are going to delete everything from this main section area because we want to keep the tabs here so again let's go to script.js there instead of main content area we will pass main section area let's save the changes now and in the index.html also let's save the changes and now you will see that the menu items are there but no section is being displayed here but here when the value of selected tab is home page we want to display the home page when the value of the selected tab will be emi calculator page we will display the emi calculator page or emi calculator section and when the selected tab will be apply loan page we will display the apply for loan section so once we have cleared everything from that div now we want to add this section this home page section in this div so let's try to access that so here when the case is home page what we are going to do is we are going to write document dot so here let's use query selector and to that let's pass this class name this home page which is the class name for this section so what we are doing is we are accessing that section and let's go ahead and let's store it in a variable maybe i will create that variable outside i'll call it content initially it is empty string okay and here let's say content equals this document dot query selector it is going to return us this section so that section will be assigned to this content and now we want to insert that content in the web page inside this main content area okay so what we will do is we will say main content area dot in the html equals content now what do you think will this work let's see that let's save the changes and we don't have anything here and let me try to inspect developer console and in the console also we don't have any errors but why it has not inserted this home page section this section in the web page let's try to understand that for that let's first check what is assigned to this content so for that i am going to write console.log statement and there let's try to log this content if i save the changes you will see that for the content null is logged now why null is logged here because this document dot query selector when we are passing this home page as the class name and here we also need to use dot before this because here we are using query selector method so before the class name we need to use dot so now if i save the changes it is still returning null now why it is returning null here because we do have a section here with this class name home page then why this query selector method is not returning us that section that's because if you notice here at this line as soon as this function was called we removed everything from the dom 
we set the inner HTML to empty string. That means in the web page, we don't have any section with this class name home page. In fact, we don't have any section. We don't have this section. We also don't have this second section and we also don't have this third section. It has already been removed from the web page as soon as we set this main content area dot inner HTML to empty string. All those HTMLs which we have inside this div, this div with this class main section area, all these HTMLs have been removed from the DOM. So for these HTMLs, there is no object present in the DOM because we removed it at this line. And that's why when we are trying to access a section with this class name, it is returning us null because in the DOM, it is not able to find that section. And that's why nothing has been inserted here. Okay, I hope you got the point. Now, what should we do then? Let's try one more thing. So what we will do is before setting the inner HTML of this main content area to empty string, and instead of calling it main content area, let me call it as main section area. Okay. Here also we are going to use main section area. All right. And what I will also do is I will add strict mode at the top so that if there is any mistake we have done, any unforeseen error which we have introduced, we will know about it. All right. So as you can see here, we have an error. Main content area is not defined at line number 38. So 38, we have named it to main section area. So here, let's use main section area. All right. So what we will do is before setting the main section area to empty string, we will first read the HTML of all these sections, all these three sections, and we will store it in a variable. So I'm going to cut this line from here. And before we are setting this inner HTML to empty string, before that, let me create that variable. Let me use let keyword here and I'll simply call it as home content. Okay. And let me remove this variable, this content variable, which we are creating here. In the same way, let's also store the sections for EMI. So for that, we have the class name as EMI calculator page. Let me copy it and let's paste it here. And here, let's say the variable name is EMI calc content. Okay. And again, let's also save the content of apply for loan area. So I'll copy this class name. Let's paste that class name here. So we are selecting the section with this class name using the query selector method. And here we are going to assign it to a variable and let's call it loan content. Okay. And after that, after we have read all those contents, we are going to set the main section area in our HTML to empty string. And when the case is home page, at that time, we are going to set the main section area dot inner HTML to home content. Okay. And let me write the same statement. So before that, let's first save the changes and let's see if it works or not. Okay, here it is logging an object. That's because in this home content, we are going to have an object. We are going to have this section as an object. So here, this home content, it is an object. Now from this object, from this DOM object, we need to get the outer HTML. So for that, on this home content, we can call a property outer HTML. And now if I save the changes, you will see that now it is displaying the home page and it is only displaying the home page, the home section. And here we have this error because now we don't have any content variable. So let me simply remove this console.log statement. We don't need it. In the same way, I'm going to write these two statements in other cases also. So here when the case is EMI calculator page, at that time, we only want to render the content from EMI calculator page, the EMI calculator section. Let me copy this. Let me paste it here. And let's do the same thing for loan page. And in this case, we want to load the content of apply for loan area. Let's save the changes. 
let me close this console so currently it is only showing home page now what i will do is i will change this selected tab to emi calculator page now if i save the changes it should only show us the emi calculator and if i change it to apply loan page it should only show us the apply for loan section apply for loan page now currently these tabs are not working we are going to make it work in our coming lectures but for now as you can see now the content is being generated dynamically okay and let me also show you in the developer console so let's open developer console and in the element section if i expand this div you will see that we have only one section we don't have three sections we have only one section here if i change this to home page this selected tab to home page so currently for this section you see classes apply for loan if i change it to home page and if i save the changes now you will see that in the div we have this section home page and only one section we have here we don't have three sections so here the content is getting generated dynamically based on the value of this selected tab we are rendering one of these sections okay so here we are doing the dynamic generation of content in the browser all right so this is what i wanted to cover in this lecture i wanted to show you how you can render a specific content from the html document in your browser and also how to change the content dynamically in the web page so here we talked about one of the methods and in the future lectures we will also talk about different ways in which we can do this but this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day